so good. Hello, I am in Denver in Colorado. Why am I here? Because I want to go hiking and there was a cheap flight from New York that I booked like two days ago. I thought, all right, let's just go. I've never been here before, but I've heard that it's really beautiful. I'm in Denver for about maybe two days. I haven't really planned anything yet. I don't really know anything about it. I mean, all I know is that they smoke weed here. So I'm just gonna go wander around, check it out, find some food, just like get a vibe of what Denver's really like. First things first, I need a coffee. I've been recommended a really cute little cafe around the corner from here that has Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go there for a couple hours, do a bit of work, get some food, get a coffee before I explore the rest of the city. but there's something about a fountain diet coke that is just the best taste in the world i don't know what it is but okay so i'm currently walking down 16th street mall which is like sort of a pedestrian area in the middle of the city that has heaps of like shops and restaurants and there's a free bus that goes down it it's like a really nice place to just wander around and it's lunch time so everyone's out and it's sunny and warm it's yeah it's a cool place to just wander around and I've come across this um, sort of like food stall cart in the middle, which is supposedly a pretty famous, um, I don't know what you call it. It's like not a restaurant, but it's not a food truck. It's like in between, um, but it's got really good Mexican food. A lot of articles have said that this is the best place to get burritos and try green chile in the city. So um, there's a bit of a lineup, so it must be good. I think I'm gonna join the line and um, try it out for myself. That's gonna be delicious, huh? Looks so good. Burrito secured. It is midday and I got a breakfast burrito, but like whatever. And this giant thing as big as my head only cost $5, including a tip. So I'm really winning here. One downside to this like mall area is that there is nowhere to sit. I'm literally sitting at like one of those free outdoor pianos that people play on, but um, I'm gonna sit down while I eat this. So I got it with ground beef and there's egg and potato in there as well as green chili, which I don't actually know what it is, but it's one of those things that they have everywhere here on their Mexican food. So like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to get it. Oh my God. This is so good. It's kind of spicy, but in the best way. Like it's not ruining my taste buds, but it's got that like kick. I don't know how anything's gonna top this. Like, what else am I gonna eat for the rest of my time here? Because I'm just gonna wanna keep going back to this guy. So Denver actually has some pretty cool street art. And honestly, I think you could say that about literally any city in the world that has young people but this actually is really cool street art um, especially around this area where I am now which is around the Denver Central Market um, which is like a lot of different vintage shops and food places and it's all really cool but on basically every wall there's like a different mural someone in their car is watching me do this um, but yeah, it's a really nice place to just like walk around get a takeaway coffee and just like wander around get some cute instas on the walls etc etc I wish I had like a cute coffee to hold here and get like a cute pic, but um, I don't. There is some really delicious looking stuff in this market, but I'm still full for that giant freaking burrito. Um, but it's cool to just walk around and see it all and maybe come back tomorrow. Also, I don't know if it's coming across weird, but my lighting in here is not good. It's so sunny. Uh, the girl that I'm staying with has recommended me this cafe. I'm just on my way there now, and apparently they have the best mochas that she has ever tasted anywhere in the world. So I was like, well, okay, I'm gonna have to go check that out. Don't normally drink mochas, but my friend does. She loves them. So Megan, this one's for you. I'm gonna go try it out. Good morning. So 
here in Denver, I'm actually couch surfing. I don't know if you've heard of couch surfing. It's basically a website where um, people around the world offer up their couches to travelers. Um, and then in return, you know, they can come and stay with you if they ever come to where you are. I, I used it 10 years ago when I lived in the US to make friends and when I was traveling around. And I figured, all right, it's time to get back on couch surfing. I'm gonna save some coin. So I'm staying with an amazing girl called Christina who lives here. She's literally just moved into this apartment, um, but she's still letting me stay on her floor with a sleeping bag, which is great. It's not the comfiest, but if I'm saving $50 a night, I am more than happy to sleep literally wherever. So yeah, if you are um, traveling on a budget, definitely check out couch surfing. I really, really recommend it. Um, it kind of sounds weird to just like stay with a random person on the internet, but honestly, everyone has reviews and you can sort of like check people out from their profile before you go and stay with someone. So you know you're not like getting into some weird, creepy situation. Also, it's a good way to just like make friends and meet up with people while you're traveling. Especially if you're alone, you can just go on couch surfing and be like, hey, who wants to go get dinner? Or like, does anyone want to do a road trip? Or you know, that kind of thing. Good morning, it is the next day and I am just about to set out on a hike. The whole reason I came to Colorado in the first place. So I'm going to a place that I've seen a lot of on the internet, which is the Red Rocks Amphitheater, which is basically this amazing huge amphitheater out in the desert, made all of rocks up in the mountains and it looks so beautiful. I kind of want to go to a show there, but the only thing that's on this week is like, I don't know, some random artist that I don't really want to see and it's like $50, $60. So I'm just going to go during the day, check it out, hike up there. It is a real bitch to get to without a car. You can Uber from the city and it's like $25, but I'm trying to save some money. So I'm getting a bus like halfway there um, and then I'm going to get an Uber from there. I did a lot of hiking when I was in Europe, but that was like over a month ago. I've been in the city for about a month now, so I am pretty excited to get out into nature. Walking around all these like big red rocks just makes me feel like I'm at that part of Disneyland. What is it? Is it the Thunder Railroad? Big Mountain Railroad? Whatever it is. So, um, Disney, you've done a good job of recreating it. Right, I made it. The walk itself wasn't that hard. It was just like the last little bit was all uphill and then upstairs. So, like, and it's very, very hot. But pretty busy here, there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people working out because you can drive your car like right up to the car park here and then just walk in so there's a lot of people like running up around the stairs, there's dudes doing like handstands, there's one guy like weightlifting over here because um, it's a really, really beautiful place to be. So these guys are like a dance crew or something, I don't know what they're doing but they're about to do something. Oh shit. Okay, I just finished my hike, it took about two or three hours and it was so beautiful. It was so cool to see that in person because I've seen so many photos and videos of it and I've always wanted to go, so that was exciting. Uh, I'm just waiting for my Uber back to the city. I think it's about a 45 minute drive back. But yeah, that was such a good hike and still like close to downtown Denver, especially if you've got a car, definitely recommend. Also, it was very dusty. These were white, these were my new shoes. Now they're a little bit brown. It's dusty, maybe wear black shoes or orange shoes, I guess. So that was my time in Denver. I mean, I finished my hike and then for the rest of the day, I just like sat in a McDonald's and used their free Wi-Fi. So I figured like, I'm not gonna put that in this video. I feel like this has been a bit of a boring vlog. I kind of just like hung out. I don't know, I didn't do anything that exciting, but I really, really like this city. It's pretty cool cool place to hang out um tomorrow i am driving to boulder which is sort of like a more mountainy town um about an hour north of here and i'm gonna spend four days just like hanging out sleeping in the car because um it's labor day weekend and all the accommodation is really pricey so gonna just like sleep in my car camp hike go to Starbucks every single day and use their free internet. I don't know, but that'll be a separate vlog, so just wait for that one. Um, all right, bye.